The final Android 12 developer preview has arrived, and that means we're just a few short weeks away from the first public beta, the next major milestone towards stable Android 12. And in this build, we're starting to see more of the visual changes and animations that we know are coming in this next version. So take a sec to subscribe to Android Central so you don't miss more Android 12 goodness, and we'll jump right in. First off, and most noticeably, the new style settings menu is now available without requiring any shenanigans around hidden flags. We first saw this under the previous codename Silky Home in earlier builds of Android 12, and now this is enabled by default and is just the way Android settings will look on a Pixel. We've already seen a lot of this before, but the new version does look a little bit more polished, obviously with quite a lot of inspiration being drawn from Samsung's One UI, with these big title headers that sometimes shrink down as you scroll through the screen. What's also new in settings and a few other places is the updated overscroll animation for Android 12. It's a really cool new visual touch that sees list items stretch out and bounce back as you reach the end of a list. And these little bounce animations can be seen all over the place in this new Android 12 build, like the recent apps menu, or even the app drawer if you give it a particularly aggressive swipe up. There are a couple of other smaller animation differences you might notice too. The app launch animation now blends more smoothly into the splash screen when you first start an app, using the colour of the app icon background if there is one. Tiny visual detail, but it does add that little bit of extra polish. The At A Glance widget now has a slightly thicker looking font compared to previous versions, for whatever that's worth. In fact, thicker lines are a big part of the aesthetic we're seeing Android move towards on Pixel phones, as you can see with this new volume slider in the latest build, and which we'll see more of in a sec as we take a look at some of the hidden features the Android community has dug up. Before we do that though, it's worth pointing out another couple of additions in this latest developer preview, which otherwise is fairly light on user-facing features compared to previous versions. The way apps can open certain web links by default has been simplified. Now for each app, it's an all or nothing toggle to allow or disallow whichever approved URLs the app can work with. And if you use accessibility features, there's a new floating shortcut bubble option for opening the accessibility menu, which replaces the old swipe gesture. Basically, it's a little chat bubble type thing that floats over the top of apps and pops up the accessibility menu when you need it. Before we wrap up, it's time to touch on some of the hidden features that have been unearthed by XDA developers and others by hacking away and decompiling certain parts of this new Android 12 build. First up, Google's tweaked this sort of noise wave highlight effect. Developer KDragon was able to activate this feature in the new preview on both the lock screen and in the menus. Reasonably likely we'll see Google take the wraps off this in the first public beta. XDA has also unearthed further work being done to overhaul Android's quick settings, again with those thicker line borders that we've seen elsewhere, but now going full circle back to, I guess, Android 4.1 Jelly Bean with this tile style layout. There's more evidence of a gaming toolbar coming to Android 12 with a hidden feature in Preview 3 building out features like an FPS counter and screen recorder shortcut, and possibly even various performance modes so you can prioritise either battery life or frame rates. And finally, it's looking more likely that an app hibernation feature will be coming to Android 12, though it might not be enabled by default right off the bat. Hibernation can help you save space by temporarily freezing and then restoring apps that you don't often use. Interesting feature, especially since Google isn't always too generous with storage space on those Pixel phones. That's it for now, next stop for Android 12 is the first public beta which will be dropping in mid-May, and usually means Google considers it stable enough to use on your daily driver if you're feeling brave. Also a good chance we'll see a lot more of Android 12's much-rumoured visual overhaul in that upcoming beta. Stick around and subscribe so you don't miss full coverage of that, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.